Right now on Good Morning Northwest, a blaze in Yakima that local fire crews are saying is a large one leaves dozens displaced. And Washington State Patrol is reaching out to the community about a rash of reckless driving incidents in the region. Plus, meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full weather forecast. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good Morning Northwest on your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Jalal. The time is 5 a.m. on Tuesday, March 5th. Let's start by checking in on your forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. And Tiffany, it's a lot colder again. Are we heading to a cold front? It is. You know what, Jessica? But at least the wind is not going to be an issue this morning. So we don't have to worry about the wind chill factor, which is certainly nice after a breezy day yesterday. We have seen a few flurries, light snow showers pass through Walla Walla overnight, and we're still tracking a few sprinkles and flurries out there along the foothills of the Blues down into the Hermiston area. A few sprinkles, that is about it. Any of this activity east of the Tri-Cities and it will be wrapping up very shortly. Temperatures are down into the 20s and 30s. We're at 31 in the Tri-Cities, 30 degrees Walla Walla, 36 in Hermiston, 29 in Yakima and 32 in Toppenish. Here's the forecast for today. We will see things that are not nearly as breezy as yesterday and we will start off with a mix of sun and clouds in Yakima. High temperatures around 48 degrees. Morning clouds in the Tri-Cities will give way to more afternoon sunshine. Highs around 50 degrees. And Walla Walla, we will see more clouds for the first half of the day. And then some late day sunshine possible with highs around 46. Weather pattern quiets down this week and we'll see a gradual warm up. We'll talk more about that coming up in a bit. Jessica. Thank you, Tiffany. And we move now to a fire at the Buckingham Apartments on South Natchez Avenue yesterday morning. It's left 60 people displaced. The Yakima Fire Chief says this is the largest fire they've responded to so far this year. Authorities say the third floor of the apartment building and residents were quickly evacuated after the fire started around 5.30 a.m. Fire crews were able to stop the fire from spreading it to surrounding buildings. And according to authorities, no one was seriously injured, but one resident was transported to a hospital for smoke inhalation. A warming center was set up for other residents at the Red Cross's Yakima headquarters before a shelter at Summit View Church of Christ was built. And authorities say they are currently not sure what caused the fire, but as for the building. The building is probably going to be completely destroyed based on, uh, you know, the fire damage, the water damage. Uh, there were holes in the floor. Later on Good Morning Northwest, we'll hear from one of the residents impacted by this fire, as well as a representative from the American Red Cross about the resources available to those who have had their lives changed by this fire. And in more fire news, a brush fire near the airport was quickly handled by the Pasco Fire Department yesterday afternoon. Fire officials say they were called to Road 36 and Burden Boulevard just before noon. Firefighters had to make a small hole in a nearby fence in order to access the fire. According to the battalion chief, it appeared the fire may have started due to a power surge from one of the lines nearby. And now to a missing person, 31-year-old Irene Fleming was last seen leaving a rural Grant County home between 4 and 5 p.m. on Sunday, and that's February 25th. Now the Grant County Sheriff's Office says she walked away and nobody knows where she went. On Saturday, detectives received credible information from an East Wenatchee resident who had contact with a woman named Irene on February 29th. They say the woman matched Fleming's description. While there's no evidence Irene Fleming is in danger, deputies say they've been concerned about her whereabouts and whether or not she's safe. Irene's family spoke to her last on Sunday, where Irene said she was in Wenatchee. It's true that Irene could be anywhere, but right now we have evidence from a credible person in the Wenatchee area who saw her at a business. We have a detective who's speaking with that employee at that business and trying to gain some more information. So if anyone knows where Irene might be, we just want to know that she's okay. So give us a call at 509-762-1160. And since this is a missing persons case rather than a criminal case, the search warrant to find her last known location through her phone was not approved. If you have any further information, call the sheriff's office. The man accused of causing a crash on I-5 that killed a Washington State Patrol trooper on March 2nd admitted to driving under the influence in court documents. 
Authorities said the 32-year-old Linwood man admitted to smoking weed and drinking alcohol earlier in the evening. Around 3 a.m., the man was going southbound on I-5 when he slammed into the car that WSP trooper Chris Gad was in. Gad died at the scene, and the Linwood man is facing vehicular manslaughter and vehicular assault charges. He's currently in jail on a $1 million bond. Washington's slowdown move over law is meant to protect emergency response personnel and utility workers who are out on the side of the road. So according to the law, drivers must move over one lane away from any emergency response location or work site. And if they can't move over, then they must slow down to at least 10 miles below the posted speed limit. Kennewick Police Commander Isaac Merkel says the message is simple. Slow down or pull over to avoid any potential danger. We would just ask people understand that there's no need for anybody to drive recklessly behind the vehicle. We've seen countless times and times again what that leads to, and oftentimes it leads tragically to uh, death or serious injury. Merkel says next time you see whoever it is on the side of the road, remember that they're people with families and they would like to make it home to see them. The Pasco City Council is considering a proposal to buy an inflatable dome to place over Memorial Pool so that it can be kept open year round. Currently, there's not much activity at Memorial Pool from September to May. And according to the Pasco Parks and Rec Director, anybody who wants to swim during the colder seasons has to find a smaller pool, head to one of the other cities or both. The proposed solution is the air dome, an inflatable structure that can be blown up from September to May and taken down during the summer months. And the cost of buying the dome and its inflation system is estimated to cost almost $550,000. The footing or foundation cost for, uh, for the dome is looking like it would cost around $350,000. Roughly $35,000 per year are expected in utility and chemical costs. While the process of setting up and taking down the dome would cost around $15,000 every year. But the Parks and Rec director is hoping those costs will be covered by the income from having the pool open all year. And if approved, the Parks and Rec director is hoping to have everything installed and ready to go in October of this year. There's also a link to the full proposal on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. And straight ahead on Good Morning Northwest, scams are getting uh, much more complicated and convincing these days. When we come back, we'll tell you what the Social Security Administration recommends to make sure you don't get taken advantage of. And looking outside, temperature is 31 degrees, but there's no wind like there was yesterday, so it still feels like 31 degrees. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. You work hard for your money, and now you can get money back on state taxes you already paid. With the Washington State Working Families Tax Credit, Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. Ben Franklin Transit is hiring safety-oriented coach operators. Become a crucial part of the Tri-Cities community and provide a vital service to our riders. Get out from behind a desk and experience a workday that keeps you moving. Enjoy CDL training, comprehensive benefits, and generous paid time off. When you're driving for Ben Franklin Transit, you're part of a growing team of community-oriented professionals. Apply now to join the Ben Franklin Transit team. Have you ever had a day like this? Bad days are why we got in the game. Capuza Lighty, Accident Injury Lawyers. Does shopping for bladder control products have you feeling like you need someone to be on the lookout for you? Now you have your privacy back. We're HDIS and we home deliver bladder control products directly to you. We're always on the lookout for you. You get free shipping in plain unmarked boxes. So your private matters stay private. We understand how you feel. For over 35 years, we've delivered bladder control products to millions of Americans, just like you. You don't have to worry about incontinence any longer. 
Call now for your free product sample pack and over $45 in money-saving coupons. At HDIS, we're always in stock. We carry all brands in hundreds of styles and sizes. You'll be sure to get what you need, guaranteed. For your free sample pack with your free catalog and $45 in money-saving coupons and free product samples, call 800-257-0683. That's 800-257-0683. Welcome to Premier Woodworks, your premier source for custom cabinetry and full-service interior design. Our custom designs are brought to life with 3D images to help you visualize the final result. Our high-quality cabinetry is crafted with care and attention to detail. From kitchen and bath design to remodel project management, we're here to make your dream space a reality. Premier Woodworks, located at 109 North Washington Street in Kennewick. Take advantage of the tax credits you can, including the annual Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. You can get money back on state taxes already paid. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. Smoke City for Less. We are open seven days a week with now five locations. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. So this week is National Consumer Protection Week and a piece of that puzzle is scam awareness. Riley Fitzgerald joins us live now in studio. Good morning, Riley. What do we know about scam prevention in 2024? Good morning, Jessica. Scams aren't all what they used to be. They're more complex than they have ever been. And coming up this week is Slam the Scam Day. From avoiding scams to preventing identity theft and reporting fraud, I talked with the Social Security Administration about what to do to prevent becoming a victim. Reports about fraud, fraudulent phone calls uh, from people claiming to be from Social Security continue to increase. And I, I always do encourage people to report scams that they may encounter. If it's somebody that calls you up from an unknown number and they're saying they're with Social Security, really doubt that. Hang up on them. From computer or email scams to physical real mail scams to those pesky phone calls. Kirk Larson, the Washington State Public Affairs Representative with the Social Security Administration, says don't give out your private information. Last year, more than 200,000 complaints were filed with the FTC about government imposter scams. Just it's important to remember there are people out there waiting to scam you and to take your money. More than 14 percent of those 200,000 complaints say they lost money to a scammer. According to the Social Security Administration, that added up to more than $126 million. People lose money, and every year people lose millions of dollars, tens of billions of dollars across this country uh, to scams, unfortunately. But also it can be very damaging to your personal well-being and your personal psyche. Uh, not only that, you, 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 you've lost the money, but you also are embarrassed to tell people. And uh, it, it really puts a... a uh, a real hardship you, on you as an individual. And if you've been a victim of imposter scams and fraud, you can find the link to report it on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. And Jessica, Larson said one of the most important pieces of advice that he could give was to not carry around your social security card. I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Riley, and thankfully I don't do that. Well, after announcing its closure in early February, the local restaurant Foodies will be reopening under new ownership. According to a Facebook post from the previous owner of Foodies, the restaurant has been sold to a new women-owned business team who plan to introduce themselves in the coming weeks. So the new team and the previous owner plan to essentially restart the restaurant while keeping the same feel, also the taste and look of what Foodies was. Both Foodies locations will be reopening under the new ownership team and we're told the new owners will address previous gift card purchases in the very near future and there is no set date for the restaurant to reopen at this time. Coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, an unregistered sex offender in West Richland is causing outrage among parents of local school children. We'll tell you how authorities manage to track him down. That's coming up. And looking outside, temperature is still 31 degrees. It is not as chilly without the wind, uh, so do be prepared for that. Meteorologist Tiffany Savona will have more in that first alert full forecast. We'll be right back. Shelby's Floral, your homegrown neighbor with worldwide connections for over 45 years. Shelby's, 
more than just a flower shop, specializing in beautiful custom arrangements, live plants, silk florals, and home decor. We're unique, and we're here for all of life's occasions, all year long. Shelby's Floral at the corner of Clearwater and Edison in Kennewick. Stop by today and let our experienced designers help you with all of your floral needs. Shelby's Floral. Save now with Bymart's latest savings book, celebrating 20 years of employee ownership with great savings, including our Owner's Choice 20th Anniversary Sale, now through March 11th at Bymart. Over 66 million have watched World Trend in action. Get down! It's an explosive sophomore season. Whoever screwed up that hit, they'll try again. Guess you better stop them. Obviously. New World Trend, tonight on ABC. From Apple Valley News Now, this is Apple Valley Eats. All right, so my job here is the food and beverage executive chef. I've been here 10 years. Started off here as an entry-level cook. Um, I was given the opportunity to step into the executive chef role, which is the position that I'm in. I've been in that position for about six years now, almost. Uh, what I do here, I handle not so much the day-to-day -day operations, but everything that goes into the menu planning, the SOPs for all of the cooks, um, recipes, ensuring all the recipes are all the same, the consistency, the vision of the food and beverage department as far as the aesthetics, what is it gonna look like? What does the food preparation look like? We have everything from catering, fast food, employee meals, which is a cafeteria style setting. And then uh, obviously our bread and butter, what we do a buffet here um, at Legends. What we like to do here is try to keep our team members happy, try to be versatile with them, uh, try to be flexible, whatever needs that they may have, um, you know, we try to accommodate. We do have childcare here on property. So if somebody needs to drop their kids off at childcare, that, that option's always there. You could come into our department with no experience at all, but we're gonna show you how to hold a knife. We're gonna show you how to cut vegetables. We're gonna show you how to cut meat. We're gonna show you how to use all the equipment is the comfort of knowing that I'm gonna have my consistent 40 hours a week. And that goes from everywhere from a dishwasher all the way up to my position. It's another benefit of working here at Legends. I like to think of it more as a career rather than a job. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's network free for 30 days? Yeah. Use this app. Want to do it even faster? Here we go. Oh, wow. U.S. Cellular works great out here. Wow. Still have 5G here, too. Hey, I wonder if U.S. Cellular lets me stream in my... Rec room. Yep, it's working. Hey, thanks for the lift. Test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network free for 30 days. The best way to end your day. That is good TV. Friends, tonight at 11.05. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Tiffany Savona. Good morning and welcome back to Good Morning Northwest, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. We're taking a live look out of our... Cas uh, Legends Casino Hotel camera in Richland this morning and all is quiet across the Columbia Basin for the most part. Sunrise 627 and the official sunset 549 this evening. Now it is another cold start but the positive to this morning is that we don't have nearly as much wind as we did for the past couple of days. So we really don't have to worry about that wind chill factor. It's 31 in the Tri-Cities. It's 30 Walla Walla, 33 in Pendleton. It's 29 in Yakima and 25 degrees in Ellensburg. Now those winds are pretty light out of the north and northwest, anywhere from about two to about eight miles per hour. We have seen a few flurries, a few sprinkles overnight, a little bit of light rain being reported in Hermiston right now. And we also have some light rain and very light snow just to the west of Walla Walla. So we could see a little bit of flurry action, a couple of sprinkles pushed into Walla Walla over the next hour or two. But then we're gonna be drying things out for the rest of the day. We have a storm system to our south that's going to stay to our south, continuing to bring snow to portions of the Blues and the Cascades and even the Sierras as we get into northern California. So all of the precipitation will stay to our south during the day today. And we're actually going to see these clouds clear out, giving way to more sunshine this afternoon. It's still going to be a cool day, cooler than average since our average highs in the middle 50s. We'll put it right around 50 in the Tri-Cities, 46 Walla Walla, 43 in Dayton, 49 in Toppenish, and 48 degrees in Yakima. 
Tonight, these clouds will completely clear out, so we'll go mainly clear by early tomorrow morning as temperatures drop down into the 30s once again. Upper 20s to near 30, I should say. 28 in the Tri-Cities, 28 at Hanford, 29 Prosser, 26 in Pendleton. And with those clouds clearing out and with light winds overnight, we may see some patchy fog develop by early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll bump those highs a few degrees. Not much, but we'll take it. We're going in the right direction, right? 52 in the Tri-Cities, 48 Walla Walla, 45 in Pendleton, 47 in Prosser, and we should make it to 50 in Yakima. We'll get a treat Thursday and Friday morning, and I think the weather is going to cooperate. If you get up early enough, you want to look in the southeast sky around 30, 40 minutes before sunrise. So that'll place it around 545 Thursday morning. Friday morning, you should be able to see Venus, Mars, and the moon. They'll be pretty low on the horizon there, but you should be able to make them out since we are looking mainly clear those nights and those early mornings. Here's your forecast for the Tri-Cities. We will see temperatures gradually climb to where they should be for this time of year by the end of the week. Our next chance for rain arrives late in the weekend and into the following work week. 48 today in Yakima. We should be in the 50s starting tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine. The weather stays pretty quiet through the rest of the week before those rain chances return this weekend. And that clock indicating that we do spring forward, so we lose that hour of sleep, unfortunately. We have 40s of the forecast today, tomorrow in Walla Walla, back in the 50s Thursday. Close to 50 today in Hermiston and more sunshine tomorrow. Highs around 50 degrees. Jessica. Thank you, Tiffany. In a crime alert now, after a shooting at McGinnis Park Friday night left a 15-year-old girl killed, Yakima police are searching for answers. Police said that they know two different groups of underage youths, totaling about 10 to 15 people, had intentionally met up at the park. Shots were fired during an altercation, and the 15-year-old girl, who police say was part of one of the groups, was killed. Police say several people told them that some of those involved were from rival gangs, so they assume at this time the incident was gang related, but not a lot of witnesses are coming forward. It's unknown what they were all doing in the area at the time, whether they're, it was intentional, unintentional, whatever the case may be, it resulted in, in the death of a 15 year old girl in our community. And there are people that know what happened that night and we need them to come forward. If you have any information, you can contact Yakima Police, or if you want to stay anonymous, you can send your tip to Yakima County Crime Stoppers. An unknown sex offender has been rearrested by West Richland Police after they say he attempted to lure students near Enterprise Middle School in February. According to the West Richland Police Facebook page, police say a convicted sex offender was seen driving by Enterprise Middle School multiple times, even making contact with at least two students. Luckily, they managed to escape. The suspect, 29-year-old Javier Ayala Colon, actually lives in Benton City. He was charged with indecent exposure, but apparently failed to register as a sex offender from prior convictions. And coming up later on Good Morning Northwest, we'll hear from a parent who is furious about how long it took uh, for the district to report this incident. And former Pasco police officer Richard Aguirre has been sentenced to 25 years in prison for killing Spokane woman Ruby Doss in 1986. Doss's daughters were in court via Zoom yesterday, asking the judge to give Aguirre the maximum sentence of 26 years. Aguirre sat quietly in court as Doss's four daughters expressed the pain he's caused their family. Aguirre's attorney argued in favor of the minimum sentence of 20 years. He asked that the judge consider Aguirre's age at the time of the crime and his time served in law enforcement. Doss's daughter said justice has taken too long. It's time for him to go to prison and experience what it's like to be a victim. Because we have to live it every day. And at this point, we, we refuse to be a victim to anybody. The judge said he did not give the maximum sentence because of Aguirre's age at the time of the crime, but said the minimum sentence wasn't appropriate either. Aguirre was taken away in handcuffs. In a statement, his family said they believe he's innocent. Saying the state forensic scientist did not find our brother's DNA on her, nor on her 50 plus personal items found at the scene. But they did find unknown male DNA around the neck of her sweater, also underneath her bloodied, partially ripped fingernail. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, the booth famously used in the hit show The Sopranos was just sold at an auction. 
find out how much it went for and how it even became available. That's next. Did you know that you may have insurance coverage for your own medical expenses? If you have insurance questions, call Allen Brecky Law Offices. Call 735-0546 to find out what your rights are under the law. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roof and replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with the limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. With the rain and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Call today to receive 0% financing on approved credit. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof and replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is a sign you'll want your yard. Need a new furry pal? It's Operation Best Friend from Apple Valley News Now. Each Wednesday, we'll feature lovable pets from area shelters wanting forever homes. Operation Best Friend from Windermere Group One and Apple Valley News Now. Bath Fitter does showers? That's right. We offer a wide selection of beautiful and functional showers in all shapes and sizes. We can even convert your bath into a shower. How about that? With our seamless one-piece walls and hundreds of design options, you'll get a beautiful new shower to fit your needs, guaranteed for life. Bath Fitter's been around for 40 years, and we've been experts in showers for just as long. Get yours today. Bath Fitter, it just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. Rated the best hearing aids of 2023 by Forbes, the Audion Atom 2 Series offers superior sound quality and functionality for a fraction of the price. For just $189 a pair, the Atom 2 features four different hearing modes for all types of hearing loss. It packs crystal clear sound, a nearly invisible design, and is even rechargeable. I actually like them better than my old $5,000 hearing aids. They're so comfortable, I forget I'm wearing them. And the sound is amazing. The Atom Pro 2 is our smallest hearing aid yet, featuring advanced background noise cancellation and is the world's first hearing aid with built-in UV cleaning that kills 99% of bacteria. I could not believe how my hearing and life changed without seeing a doctor or having a hearing test. Join over 500,000 happy customers today and get the hearing you deserve. Call 1-800-434-2113 or go to audionhearing.com to get your pair of Audion hearing aids starting at just $189. As much as we may not like it, life is not a spectator sport. That's why it's always disruptive when someone else's carelessness leaves us on the sidelines. Allen Brecky Law Offices helps accident injury victims. Call now. They're waiting to help you. A flight over a great little lake. Apple Valley News Now at 6 tonight. Welcome back in entertainment news. eBay says the booth from the last scene in the Sopranos finale has sold for more than $82,000. According to the site, 238 people bid on the place where Tony Soprano and his family sat as a screen famously cut to black, ending the hit series in mystery. The booth is from Holston's in Bloomfield, New Jersey. That restaurant is renovating, which allowed the booth to become available. And coming up on Good Morning Northwest, Super Tuesday elections are being held in 16 states in one territory today as we move closer towards a rematch of the 2020 election. And the Senate GOP hierarchy is about to enter a new era following Senator Mitch McConnell's intention to step down from leadership and Republican whip John Thune wants to step into his place. In today's Tech Bytes, Apple just unveiled its latest line of the MacBook Air billed as the world's best consumer laptop for AI. The 13 and 15 inch models come with the new M3 chip and sharper webcams. They start at $1,100 and are set to hit stores this Friday. Instagram users can now edit their DMs. Instead of just deleting them, Meta says you now have up to 15 minutes to make changes to those direct messages. The altered DM will contain the word edited. The new function comes a few months after editing was rolled out on Messenger. Finally, Google's upgraded call screening on Pixel phones. Tapping a new hello button prompts Google Assistant to speak on your behalf. Users can hear who's calling and then decide whether you want to talk. It's available for the Pixel 6 and newer models as well as the Pixel Fold. Those are your Tech bites. Have a great day.
people just know that the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate. Not one based on Paul. You don't want to ride with Paul. Or Sarah. Not today, anyway. And you don't want a rate based on Ben. He's got some important business to take care of. Why would you pay a rate based on anyone else? With Allstate, you're connected to a rate based on you. When I have pain from arthritis, I grab BioFreeze. Unlike Voltaren, BioFreeze provides fast-acting relief. I can apply it to more areas of my body. And it's NSAID-free. Cool the pain so I can get back on the court. You know that feeling of having to rewash dishes that didn't get clean? I don't. Platinum Plus is Cascade's best clean ever. With double the Dawn and double the scrubbers, it removes the toughest grease and residue for an irresistible clean and shine. Cascade Platinum Plus. Dare to dish differently. Morning, Northwest. President Biden and former President Trump are poised to move closer to winning their party's nominations today on the biggest day of the presidential primary campaign. And we could get our first look at Senator Mitch McConnell's successor as leader of the Republican Party. Plus, meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full weather forecast. Good morning, Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Jalal. The time is 531 on Tuesday, March 5th. Happy Tuesday. Let's check in right away on your forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. And Tiffany, what can we expect as we're just waking up this morning? Well, we are cold this morning, Jessica, but the wind is not nearly an issue like it was yesterday morning or over the weekend. So the wind is going to be on the light side today, which is good news. So we don't have too much of a wind chill factor to really work with this morning. It's 31 currently in the Tri-Cities, 31 at Hanford. It's 31 Prosser, 25 in Ellensburg, 29 Connell, and 30 degrees in Walla Walla. We have seen a couple of light rain mixing with some light snow showers overnight, and here's the last of it. A little bit of light rain falling in Hermiston. We do have some light showers about to push into Walla Walla, but once this little batch pushes across our easternmost communities, we're going to be dry for the rest of the day. So in the Tri-Cities, we'll start off with a lot of clouds, temperatures in the lower 30s, rising to around 50 degrees with more afternoon sunshine. And then in the Yakima Valley, we're talking about partly cloudy skies this morning, only rising into the <coughs> middle 40s this afternoon. And Walla Walla, 30 degrees this morning, or this is Yakima rather, upper 40s later on this afternoon with a mix of sun and clouds. We'll see a gradual warm up as we head throughout the work week. We'll have that latest forecast coming up. Jessica, back to you. Thank you, Tiffany. Now on a Super Tuesday, 15 states are holding the Republican presidential primaries today with Donald Trump inching closer to his third Republican nomination. This at the Supreme Court unanimously rules in the former president's favor. ABC's Ike Jachi has more. On this Super Tuesday, Donald Trump appears to be on the verge of clinching the Republican presidential nomination for a third time. We could very well win every state in record numbers. Trump leading Nikki Haley by at least 37 points in each of the 16 states holding primaries today. In a new interview with hard right online broadcaster RSBN, Trump looking ahead to general election issues, including security on the southern border. People are coming from parts unknown, countries that you've never heard of, languages that nobody in this country speaks. At a rally in Texas Monday night, Haley insisting she's the only Republican who can beat President Biden. How much more losing do we have to do before we realize maybe Donald Trump is the problem? Voters across the political spectrum attending Haley's event Monday night unified in their stance against Trump. When it comes down to Trump, I'm never voting for him. I think that a lot of people here are just simply wanting something that's more moderate. As of now, it remains unclear what Haley will do next. She has no public event scheduled for today and is expected to watch tonight's results privately at home. The primaries come after the Supreme Court unanimously ruled that individual states cannot ban Trump from the presidential ballot. 
Courts in three states, Colorado, Illinois, and Maine, had ruled Trump should be banned because of his actions surrounding the January 6th Capitol riot, citing the 14th Amendment, which says no one who has taken an oath to support the Constitution and then engaged in insurrection can hold public office afterwards. The court did not address the issue of whether Trump engaged in insurrection, President Biden's campaign manager paying little attention to the Supreme Court ruling, telling MSNBC, our focus since day one of launching this campaign has been to beat Donald Trump at the ballot box. Next up for Trump at the Su Supreme Court's arguments next month is whether he's immune from criminal prosecution in the January 6th election interference case. And Senate GOP whip John Thune put his name in the running to be the next leader of his party. Thune announced plans to run for the position on Monday. Senator Mitch McConnell, who's held that position since 2007, announced he's stepping down later this year. Thune will face at least some competition, because last week, former whip John Cornyn of Texas announced he's running for the position. Other potential hopefuls include Senators John Barrasso, Rick Scott, and Steve Daines. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, today marks two weeks since a cyber attack targeted a division of a major health insurer. Now, reports say it appears United Health Group may have paid the hacker group $22 million in ransom. And looking outside, temperature is still 31 degrees. It is still dark out. Meteorologist Tiffany Savona will have more in that first alert full forecast. We'll be right back. Hello, Shelby. Hello, Mariano. Upload Mrs. Robinson's case. Processing. Is there any new information? The insurance offer is too low. Should I ask for more? You know, when they hear from the heavy hitter, they'll pay much more. The heavy hitter is the one for you. Call 853-2222. Ben Franklin Transit is hiring safety-oriented coach operators. Become a crucial part of the Tri-Cities community and provide a vital service to our riders. Get out from behind a desk and experience a workday that keeps you moving. Enjoy CDL training, comprehensive benefits, and generous paid time off. When you're driving for Ben Franklin Transit, you're part of a growing team of community-oriented professionals. Apply now to join the Ben Franklin Transit team. Life can be hard. With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. So, all of us are here to talk about trading. Right now at US Cellular, you can get a new phone without having to trade in your old one. Trade you my PB&J for that phone. No kid, you don't have to trade. See, $830 off any phone at US Cellular. No trade-in needed. You drive a hard bargain. Boom, chocolate milk. You don't have to trade. I'll take the chocolate milk. Okay. Boom. Get $830 off any phone. No trade-in needed. US Cellular, built for us. If your family is anything like this, you need quality floors from Empire Today. Like durable carpet with built-in stain and pet protection. Tough wood laminate with a scratch-resistant finish. Or waterproof vinyl plank floors. Even bath time is no match. And when life happens, Empire backs every floor with great warranties. Quality floors you can count on. Save $350 on your next project. Call this special number now. 1-844-254-8536. Listen up. You've got four days and four days only to save like never before. During the four-day super sale at Furniture Row. That's four days where the more you buy, the more you save. Save a hundred bucks on every thousand you spend. No limit. You'll also find huge savings on sofas and sectionals, dining tables and chairs, bedrooms, and much, much more. Plus, get four years no interest financing. But don't wait. The four-day super sale at Furniture Row ends Monday. Before you head for the slopes, catch the Apple Valley News Now Northwest Ski Report. It's on air during weather, online at applevalleynewsnow.com or on our mobile app. The Northwest Ski Report from Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Schweitzer Mountain Resort in Sandpoint, Idaho. Hello, Shelby. Hello, Mariano. Upload Mrs. Robinson's case. Processing. Is there any new information? The insurance offer is too low. Should I ask for more? You know, when they hear from the heavy hitter, they'll pay much more. The heavy hitter is one for you. Call 853 The best way to end your day. That is good TV. Friends, tonight at 11 
Welcome back in health news. Today marks two weeks since a cyber attack targeted a division of a major health insurer. It's paralyzed some hospitals, doctors' offices, and pharmacies. And now reports say the company may have paid a large ransom. ABC's Allison Kosick has more. This morning, two weeks after a cyber attack hit the nation's largest health insurer, crippling its digital network, experts say it appears United Health Group may have paid the hacker group, known as Black Cat, $22 million in ransom. The uh, smoking gun, so to speak, was a publicly visible $22 million transaction on Bitcoin's blockchain. United Health has not confirmed the payment reported by Reuters and Wired. The company saying it's focused on the investigation and the recovery. Since the attack, thousands of mostly smaller pharmacies have been facing major disruptions in fulfilling prescription orders and verifying insurance coverage. They're targeting the healthcare industry because they know that people, patients, they are especially vulnerable. They, these, these organizations are in a position where they cannot wait too long before they have to pay a ransom. Paying the ransom might help the company get its operations up and running, but it could also set a dangerous precedent. It's like uh, training a dog. You know, the dog does something and it gets a treat and just does it again. One health analytical firm estimates the cyber attack has been costing health care providers more than $100 million per day. And the first over-the-counter birth control pill is now approved in the U.S. Opil is being shipped to store shelves right now. It'll be available in person and online, and that's in the coming days and weeks. The drug maker has a suggested retail price of $20 for a one-month supply and $50 for a three-month supply. The pill uses only the hormone progestin, and the company says it can be up to 98% effective at preventing pregnancy. And that's in line with the effectiveness of most birth control pills. For most birth control, we do recommend that uh, people use a backup form of contraception the whole first month to be safe and follow the instructions and take it at the same time of, of the day, every day. Some of the pharmacies that have said they'll carry it include CVS and Walgreens. It'll also be available online at opill.com and other online retailers. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, Boeing faces a new FAA report citing quality control problems and a lawsuit over the Alaska plane. Meanwhile, the search for the missing Malaysia Airlines flight could resume. Looking outside, temperature is still 31 degrees, still dark out there. Meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your first alert for, uh, full forecast. That is next. A flight over a great little lake. Apple Valley News now at 6 tonight. Mr. Box, I had this idea. Is it giving people lots of great food for $6 and letting them choose between two delicious sandwiches? Great idea, Devin. Run with it. That went well. And you run and get my $6 jackpack. Welcome to Jack in the Box. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. Thursday morning on. Good morning, America. Garth Brooks has something super special to share. This is just too, too cool. I cannot wait to show you. And he's sharing it with Robin and you. Robin Roberts, me, and GMA. I'm so excited. Let's do this. Are you an experienced machinist? We have a job for you. Pasco Machine is hiring now. We offer generous wages, overtime, double time, full medical, paid holidays, and four-day work schedule. Apply online today at pascomachine.com. Young and old, come dance a night away. Active for Life presents Senior Prom. The festivities take place March 28th at the Red Lion Pasco. This year's theme is Dancing Through the Decades. This event is open to the public, so grab your favorite senior and dress up in your favorite decade. There'll be a red carpet walkthrough with dinner, drinks, and dancing, plus a photo booth, games, and tons of prizes. Get your tickets online at Solutions in Home Care, Wheatland Bank, or Family Resource Home Care. Senior Prom at the Pasco Red Lion. Brought to you by Active for Life's fine sponsors and title sponsor Chinook Home Healthcare. Upgrade your kitchen with Frigidaire Professional, offering powerful performance and professional-grade design. The Front Control Gas Range provides the ultimate flexibility for making your favorite meals. Sear and saute with precision and flip pancakes on the griddle for golden results. And thanks to our smudge-proof stainless steel, spend less time cleaning while keeping your kitchen looking spotless. You won't find Frigidaire Pro at the box stores, but it's on sale at Fred's. 
Fred's Appliance. We want to be your choice. Come aboard water to wine cruises. Our unique weekend brunch cruise offers delicious dishes by our chefs as you take in beautiful views of the river. Start the morning off right and visit watertowinecruises.com to book your brunch today. My French toast sticks are back starting at 250. Now with a sweet new twist, cinnamon sugar churro. Dunk, bite, and savor them any time of day or all day. It's totally up to you, only for a limited time. Welcome to Jack in the Box. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Tiffany Savona. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. Hopefully it's a good start to your Tuesday. We're taking a live look out of our Legends Casino Hotel camera in Richland. And the sky getting a little bit brighter as the sunrise gets earlier and earlier. That is until this weekend when we do spring forward. So the official sunrise today, 627 official sunset in the Tri-Cities 549. But once we turn those clocks ahead one hour, that's going to affect the sunrise and the sunset. So let's skip ahead to this weekend. Saturday, before daylight saving time begins, the sunrise will be at 619, sunset 554, so just before six o'clock. Sunday, then with the time change, the sun won't rise until 717. So it's going to be waking up in the dark, getting ready in the dark as you head off to work early in the mornings. But we get those later sunsets, which is nice with the sun setting just before seven o'clock by Sunday evening. Won't that be nice? Temperatures are in the 20s and 30s this morning. 31 in the Tri-Cities, 30 in Walla Walla, 36 in Hermiston, 32 at Hanford and 29 in Yakima. Now there's just a little bit of a breeze this morning. Not much. You can see many locations. We have calm winds out there, so not much of a wind chill to worry about, unlike yesterday morning. So that's a nice change. We saw a few light rain showers, a few light snow showers move through overnight as expected. Here's the last of it. We have a little bit of light rain falling in Hermiston. It's misty in Pendleton, and we may see a few snowflakes flying, maybe even a light rain shower pushing a walla walla as this little batch of rain and snow pushes off to the north and east. We do have a storm system off to our south. That is where it is going to stay today. And we are going to start to see more in the way of sunshine this afternoon. Here's the weather pattern. We have a dip in the jet stream, but the rain and the snow will continue to the south of the Columbia Basin. So we're gonna stay dry today. Now that dip of the jet stream will still keep temperatures below average for this time of year today tomorrow and as we take it to Thursday and Friday, we'll start to see a ridge of high pressure build in from the south and west. That's going to allow for a gradual warm up. So as we go throughout the morning and afternoon hours, you'll start to see these clouds break up and clear out this afternoon as high temperatures climb to around 50 degrees. It's still gonna be a cool day, but it's not gonna feel as cool as yesterday because there's not gonna be much wind. 50 in the Tri-Cities, 46 Walla Walla, 48 in Yakima, and 49 in Hermiston. Tonight, these clouds will clear out, but with a light wind, that could allow some patchy fog to develop by tomorrow morning. So something to be aware of as you're heading off to work on your Wednesday. We'll be tracking that very closely for you. Temperatures drop back down below freezing, mid to upper 20s by early tomorrow morning. Then as we take it to tomorrow afternoon, we'll see more sunshine with high temperatures in the upper 40s and lower 50s. So temperatures slowly going in the right direction here. Tri-Cities, lots of sunshine Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Look at those temperatures climbing. And then our next chance for rain will arrive as we head into this weekend and early next week. Yakima 48, we're back in the 50s on Wednesday, slowly climbing into the lower 50s and that clock indicating we do spring forward this weekend. 46 today, Walla Walla with that rain and snow ending very early this morning. 48 tomorrow, 50s return Thursday. And we're close to 50 today and tomorrow in Hermiston with middle 50s by the end of the week. Jessica. Thank you, Tiffany. 
Well, it's another rough few days for Boeing. An FAA audit report out yesterday alleges non-compliance issues and the company is getting sued. Amy Kiley reports. Boeing faces another round of headaches. I don't think there's been a day that's gone by that we haven't thought about it. This couple and another passenger are suing Alaska Airlines and Boeing for a billion dollars. They were on the 737 MAX 9 in January when a door plug flew off mid-flight. We have to change our lives around this fear of flying now. An FAA audit report out yesterday stems from that January accident. It alleges multiple non-compliance issues. Boeing has fewer than 90 days to produce a quality improvement plan based on the audit and an earlier expert panel review. The CEO says those provide a clear picture of what needs to be done. He says Boeing will demonstrate profound change. Meanwhile, Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 is back in the news a decade after it went missing. The Malaysian government says it might be open to renewing the search for it. They do have over 50, 50 to 60 pieces of the plane that washed up, so they know for a fact it's down there somewhere. To be clear, the missing plane is a Boeing 777, not a 737 MAX 9. And a key investigator on that case says it's not the aircraft she suspects. I still go back to the lithium-ion batteries in the cargo hold. We don't allow that, and there's a reason. I'm Amy Kiley reporting. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, Oppenheimer and Barbie were the twin box office champions of 2023. With the Academy Awards coming up, we'll check their Oscar night outlook next. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roofing replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with the limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. With the rain and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Call today to receive 0% financing on approved credit. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roofing replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is a sign you'll want your yard. The Washington State presidential primary is underway. This election is really being conducted for the Republican Democrat parties. When is an election not really an election? We're all paying for this. Watch Apple Valley News now tonight at 5 and 6. Hit by a big truck in bad weather? There's a law that says truck drivers have a legal duty to use extreme caution when driving in hazardous conditions. Knowing these laws sets my truck wreck team apart. How much truck Mariano Morales, the big truck heavy hitter. Big truck insurance companies know that we have the knowledge and experience to get you paid everything you deserve. Hit by a big truck, our team knows truck wrecks and how to win for you. How much truck Mariano Morales, the big truck heavy hitter. The heavy hitter is one for you. Call 853 At Goodwill, we're more than just a store. We believe in the power of community. Our devoted team of employees working hand in hand with local business partners unite to create opportunities for all. Within Goodwill's Employment Connection Center is a free walk-in job search assistance program that assists job seekers in crafting resumes, preparing for interviews, and grants access to community resources and information. We're not just building careers, we're building bridges that strengthen our community. Goodwill, where your purchases and donations transform your community. What's better than the perfect cut of meat for a tasty meal? That's easy. The perfect cut of meat on sale. Super One Foods 12-hour meat sale this Thursday only with great savings on USDA Choice Angus Beef New York Steak, $7.98 a pound. Boneless Pork Loin Roast, $1.98 a pound. And visit your Super One Foods meat department for even more great savings in store. Super One Foods 12-hour meat sale this Thursday only. The savings are sizzling. Jimmy Kimmel hosts the Oscars, Sunday, March 10th on ABC. Hop on a Ben Franklin transit bus to the movies and get ready for the Oscars. Watch live this Sunday at a new time, 4 p.m. on ABC Apple Valley News Now. Sponsored locally by Ben Franklin Transit. Oh my gosh. Wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. All it takes is 10 minutes to reduce the appearance of under eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. The instant results are from naturally based silicates found in shell clay. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms. Take action with our Plexiderm 10 minute challenge. Try it today for only $14.95, plus get free shipping. Visit plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. The Washington State Presidential Primary. Does your vote count? tonight.
It is a cold start this morning, but at least we don't have too much of a wind chill factor to worry about like we did yesterday morning. Temperatures are in the upper 20s and lower 30s outside, so you will need that heavy coat. And it will be a rather cool day. Temperatures staying below average, but we will see plenty of sunshine this afternoon, which will be nice. 48 in Yakima, 49 in Toppenish, 48 Sunnyside, 49 in Hermiston. Prosser, you should make it up to 47, 48 at Hanford. Tri-Cities, 50 degrees on the dot, 45 in Connell. And the foothills of the Blues, we have 43 in Dayton, 46 Walla Walla, and 44 in Pendleton. Jessica, back to you. Thank you, Tiffany. In entertainment news, the summer box office hits that created the cultural phenomenon of Barbenheimer are now heading to the Oscars. Top grossing films Barbie and Oppenheimer that debuted on the same day last summer now going head to head on Oscars Sunday. ABC's Melissa Adon has more on the popularity and success of the two blockbusters and how they're expected to do at the 96th Academy Awards. Hi, Barbie. Blockbuster favorites Barbie and Oppenheimer expected to be the talk of the Oscars. The summer box office hits opened in theaters on the same day and created the cultural phenomenon of Barbenheimer. These two movies never really competed with each other. They kind of parallel lined their way to enormous success. Barbie making $1.4 billion worldwide and Oppenheimer's three hour long movie grossing $957 million. The two big budget Hollywood films went on to complimentary success, but now they find themselves head to head in a number of Oscar categories. Oppenheimer leads the Oscars with 13 nominations. I think picture and director locked up for Oppenheimer and its director Christopher Nolan likely to just just dominate the night. Barbie with eight nods. Both films are contenders for best picture, best adapted screenplay, best supporting actor and best supporting actress. Emily Blunt in Oppenheimer and America Ferreira for Barbie. It wasn't a movie for little girls playing with Barbie dolls. It was for all of us, men, women, young, old, around the world. And that that's not an easy or inevitable task. It was the most heart-stopping, exhilarating script. It was very easy to share thoughts on it. I, I found it very emotional. I think Oppenheimer is maybe one of Chris's most emotional movies. What was I made for? Plus the music with Billie Eilish and Phineas, What Was I Made For? And I'm Just Ken, both from Barbie in the race for best original song. Barbenheimer proving going to the movies is still strong as Hollywood continues to recover from the pandemic. Barbie and Oppenheimer being part of the Oscars is a huge moment. People have been wanting the Oscars to be more populous, to be more uh, engaging and uh, inviting to general audiences. Barbenheimer changing the landscape for Hollywood's future. Melissa Don, ABC News, Los Angeles. Coming up in our next hour of Good Morning Northwest, a blaze in Yakima that local fire crews are calling the largest they've seen this year leaves dozens displaced. And there could be a major change on that horizon in Pasco that would provide residents with a chance to hit the pool all year long. Plus, meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full weather forecast. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good Morning Northwest on your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Delal. The time is 558 on Tuesday, March 5th. Let's check in right away on your forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. Tiffany, it looks like it's getting lighter out there. What else can we expect this morning? It's another cold start, Jessica, but at least the wind isn't blowing like it was yesterday morning. So we don't have too much of a wind chill factor to worry about early on this Tuesday, but you'll still need that heavy coat is just step outside. Official sunrise about a half an hour away now as the sky getting brighter and brighter as we take a look at our Richland sky cam courtesy of Legends Casino and Hotel. Temperatures are in the 20s and 30s depending on where you are, how many breaks in the clouds you saw overnight. So it's 30 in the Tri-Cities, 31 Walla Walla, 29 in Prosser, 27 in Dayton, and 27